We're gonna get some treats, okay? Rudy is a five-month-old bundle of puppy love. Good girl. Who just began her first day on the job at the Baden High School Counselor's Office. We can command her to snuggle and she will get on their lap or jump into their lap and, and just provide them some love. It's a job Rudy has been training for all her life. Free dog. Angie Bukite is one of her five handlers. Up oh, heel. And says even before her big debut, she's becoming quite popular around the school. I have had kids here right away that just kind of want to pet her, say hello, and they leave smiling. So she's kind of the greeter in the morning. It's our pleasure to introduce new me newest member of our faculty, Rudy. Rudy received a warm golfer's clap welcome at the school assembly as to not overwhelm her, she is still a puppy. She's so calm and she just relaxes you right away and she gives you kisses on your hands. She's so sweet. But why a full-time therapy dog in a high school? Well, why not? School administrators say it can only help boost morale. To be a little bit stressed, whether that's over academics or whether they're deciding to go for college or, or family life. And uh, if we can have a, a therapy dog here just to help them kind of calm them down, open them up to talk to our counselors, uh, it's a great, great benefit. The price for parents? Zero. The school was awarded a grant by a nonprofit started by the parents of one of the victims of the Sandy Hook school shooting, Charlotte Bacon. And her brother went to school three weeks later and was comforted by therapy dogs. And that's how they saw him get back to it as normal as he could have. Rudy is from a litter of the Charlotte Bacon program and hopes to bring a comforting paw to every student she touches. During summer break, Rudy will spend those months working with officers at the Hamilton Police Department. Reporting in Hamilton, Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5. You know, of course.